Zyzel. In this USG how-to video, we'll discuss the new unified security policy system on newer USG appliances that streamline security, UTM configuration, and policy enforcement. With previous USG series appliances, security policies, especially those for subscription-based services like antivirus, content filtering, anti-spam, and intrusion detection app patrol, needed to be created and implemented on several different menus. In addition, administrators had to configure the same policies for different web applications one at a time. This meant a lot of repetitive work, causing problems in efficiency when configuring or troubleshooting the appliance. With the latest USG series appliances, however, all UTM and firewall policies are administrated from the same new security policies interface. Administrators can create policies and easily add all the web applications that need to be regulated. They can also easily apply all policy criteria such as zone, IP address, user, schedule, and so forth to every UTM feature. This gives admins a consistent streamlined policy configuration. This three-tiered approach of creating objects and profiles, then applying them to a security policy, greatly reduces administration and troubleshooting overhead. If you're not familiar with this new menu, you'll want to log into your USG to take a closer look. Connect to the USG's LAN port and point your web browser to its management IP address. The default IP address for the USG is 192.168.1.1. If using the default self-signed certificate on your USG, your browser may present a security warning, but it's perfectly okay to proceed. The default username is admin, and the default password is 1234. If you're still using the default password, you'll be prompted to change it and will have to log back in using the new password. Once you've logged in, you should see the dashboard and the menu bar on the left margin. From the menu bar, go to the configuration menu. The security policy, policy control submenu, is where the bulk of your UTM configurations will take place. The menu system here looks like the standard firewall menu in previous USG appliances, including columns for priority, name, from and to traffic directions, source and destination addresses, and so forth. However, the notable addition is the inclusion of the UTM profile column, indicating any UTM features being used in the policy. New rules can be created using the Add button, double-clicking on an existing rule, or selecting a rule, and using the Edit button will open up the rule. Although the name field is mandatory and doesn't allow for the use of spaces or special characters, the Description field is optional but can be used for easy reference. The From and To fields are based off of zone objects, whereas the Source and Destination fields are based off of address objects. Service, User, and Schedule objects can be used to further refine the type of traffic specified by the rule. These are all identical to configuring a firewall rule on the previous series of USGs, but for the uninitiated, these objects can either be created in the Configuration Objects menu or by using the Create New Objects link at the top of the pop-up menu. The latter will allow you to create an object without losing any settings you've already made in the previous pop-up menu. Next, you'll be able to set the action for the rule to either allow or deny traffic specified by the rule. If traffic is denied, no further options will be allowed, besides toggling the ability to log and or report traffic denied by the rule. Logging can be enabled for allowed traffic also. If the traffic is allowed, you'll now be able to apply UTM policies in the UTM Profiles section. You can apply any UTM policy you desire to the rule. In this way, for example, you may have several Lanta WAN security policies that differ by different users or groups, and then apply different content filtering, intrusion detection, or app patrol rules. Because UTM objects are more complicated than user, address, service, or schedule objects, they're not supported in the Create New Object dropdown and should be created before configuring them in the Security Policy Edit menu. Content filtering and IDP app patrol UTM policies should be applied on policies from a local interface like LAN, LAN2, WLAN, or DMZ to the WAN to prevent outbound connections from occurring without proper inspection. 
Anti-spam and AV policies can be applied from LAN to WAN or vice versa, such as for incoming email to a local email server on the DMZ. Some security policies, such as those that implement IDP or App Patrol, will require application objects to function. For more information on how to set up IDP and or App Patrol security policies and associated application objects, see our other USG video, IDP and Application Intelligence. Once finished, the security policy will be enforced immediately. If objects used by the policy are changed in the Objects menu, such as the User, Content Filtering, or Antivirus policy, for example, those altered objects will also be applied towards the policies that use them, further decreasing any possible administration or troubleshooting actions. For more USG how-to videos, see our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash